Finger limes have been classed, I think, as a superfood as of a year ago, so they've got 50 more times uh, more vitamin C than a standard citrus. They're really good for you. Uh, the wife uh, has got recipes uh, which she puts on our, on our Facebook page. Breakfast, we use them. Wife does desserts, say on pawpaw and mango, cold. So for smokers with the workers, we supply the workers with that. 300 uh, finger lime trees. Uh, red champagne, and uh, I think there's about 11, 1150 uh, Tahitian lime trees. Well, I'm from a, a background of farming up, up um, from Athen and Tablelands, so um, yeah, the old man's got fruit trees and um, uh, a few of me close mates. And um, I suppose for me, uh, as I work in the um, in the Bowen Basin in the mines, um, I can maintain uh, this orchard as well as work out in the mines, so um, yeah, week on, week off. Get home from night shift, off work, and then straight into the farm. It's been a lot of heartache. If something needs to be done, it needs to be done today, such as um, putting fertilizers through, uh, any type of orchard requirements. So it, it, it's a lot of work, but um, hopefully the uh, rewards come. There's different markets as far as Brisbane, uh, Sydney, which I supply, and then I've got um, my local markets, which which support us. COVID-19 has had a, had a large effect on us, especially the last probably um, two months. As, as citrus is, is well known in the hospitality industry, I've had to let a lot of fruit drop on the ground. It's starting to pick up again now, but that's farming, eh? You just go to the lows and you hopefully take advantage of the highs. I've got a lot of support from, from the local uh, wholesalers and um, which which has helped out in the in the low times was at the end of the day the last couple of months it hasn't been worth sending me fruit down south because I'll get a bill back. So the local areas, so you know, such as Veggies Unlimited, uh, Misfords, Farmers Market, I'll be able to supply a lot more locally with them. Hopefully the locals through the markets take them up and I'll be sending a lot less down south. So the more I sell locally, the less product I send. Uh, with Greater With Sundays, I suppose they helped us to, to get my name out there. Um, you know, as a small business and, and starting off, there's, there's a lot of expenses incurred, but the initial setup, and they give good feedback too. Um, they're always there to support you, and, and yeah, it's been, it's been pretty exciting working with them guys. There's a lot of initiative to look at going organics with, with reef catchments, which is, it's new to me, but I'm looking at moving that way. Um, and with reef catchments, they're showing us the support. There's not a lot of knowledge in the Mackay area, in regards to orchards, it's all sugar cane and cattle. I've got a big macadamia farm beside us there, along with helping each other out with a bit of gear and that, you know, that, that's, that's been good, but uh, mackay has got the soils, they've got the water. I, I can't see why the area cannot diversify. It's the same type of area and country as where I've come from, the Atherton or Mariba country up North Queensland. Uh, the only reason that industry diversified is because tobacco got taken off them and they went into orchards and, and, and coffee and avocados and it's a very successful area. We're also looking at setting up a, a road store here so we're going to be able to have locals come to and with an honesty box um, so set up a, a fruit store at the front so all our second grade fruit just something with a little bit of a mark nothing wrong with the inside it's the next venture. Thank you.